Okay, so the next step is to draw your image right here. Um, make sure that when you do this bottom part where the ground is or where the snow is, that you curve it down and then up because that's going to make this look like it's round. If you just draw it straight across, it'll make it look flat, okay? So you wanna make sure that this curves down and then curves back up, and then the other side curves just um, similar, similarly, just like the, um, the front part, okay? Because you're trying to draw an ellipse there. All right, and then you're going to draw your image right here um, whatever you want to draw. Um, I'm going to start by putting some trees. So this is going to be my background. So I'm going to draw very lightly because I don't want the pencil to be seen after my pencil is finished. And I'm not drawing in a whole lot of detail. Just a just to give me an idea of where, where I want those trees. I'm going to do pine trees. Okay, have one a little closer. Maybe in the distance, I just want a, kind of a hint of trees back there. So, drawing very, very lightly. And then I think in the front, I want to put some kind of animal. So I'm looking on the computer at, at a reindeer. So I think I'm going to put a reindeer, maybe kind of, kind of big in the front part here. So and that is a little head. And this is where his antlers are going to go. So I got this image off of Unsplash, or I'm using Unsplash. Um, the picture in there is a reference point, as a reference photo. Switching my image to the other, reversed it, just so I can kind of see what a reindeer looks like. And then I notice, oh, that head's really huge, right? So I'm going to go back and fix it.
The reason why I lowered this part of the background is because this line was hitting exactly on the nose part and it made it sort of awkward. So I decided to change the line so that it fit in a better place. Sometimes when we draw, when we draw um, parts and they fit in a very awkward place, you want to go ahead and change that because it'll interfere with what you're actually trying to um, show. Is it you know the important part is one of the important parts of this space, and you don't want to line. And I left a lot for the sky part because I know I want to do a nighttime uh, or, you know, dark blue uh, kind of scene. So I wanted to um, leave a lot of the sky. And then I haven't decided on the base yet. I drew a very simple base, as you can see, and then I'm still deciding what I want um, the theme of my base to be, but I want it to relate to reindeer somehow, so I'm not sure if I want to do more like mountains or I guess mountains might, might look okay. I could do um, like a picture of mountains at the bottom or I could, um, you know, just draw some, uh, you know, like, I don't know, some kind of design that relates to the reindeer as well. Alrighty, starting to paint. So I'm going to First, start by painting in the whole sky. So I'm going to start by painting in the background part. And what I'm going to do is use the blues. So I have two different blues. One's a warm blue, one's a cold blue. And the illustration paper really um, absorbs the water very quick. So you have to work. Uh, pretty quickly, faster than with watercolor um, paper. So what I'm going to do is start on the edge here, on the inside circle. I'm not going to worry about my trees because I'm going to paint um, the green back over on top. So you can see where this water is already absorbing into the paper and I get these um, kind of lines. Okay. So I'm just putting on a layer just like this. The only thing, I'm going to paint over the trees, but the only thing I'm not going to paint over is my reindeer. Okay, I'm going to get light and dark. I'm just going to go back and just add clear water now. Just kind of blend it in. Okay. And so it's I'll probably went off camera a little bit. So it's gonna be light blue on this side or lighter blue, just adding a lot of water. You can see where this, unlike watercolor, when I go back over this, this is not going to really bleed out or blend that much. Watercolor paper, I should say. Um, but once I have the whole area um, damp, I'm going to go damp. I'm going to go back. And I want to make this edge darker. 
So one of your edges, one of the edges to the circle, you want darker, something like this, and then lighter on the other side. So I'm not worried about that reflection um, that you know you'll have to add back. Um, we're going to add that on top uh, later on. And of course, if you want to add other colors into this background, you can. If you want to make it look sort of like the Northern Lights, it's completely up to you. Or if you have the Milky Way kind of going through, then you would leave um, a light sort of streak through there. The only thing you have to be sort of careful about um, with this paper is not to keep rubbing it too much. Don't keep adding um, more and more water and scrubbing with your brush because uh, it will start to peel up. Okay, but I'm just adding like little darker, see, dropping in like little darker areas to, you know, so that my sky looks a little different. Doesn't all look the same. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is with the snow. So I'm going to use still use that same blue color. Okay. And I'm just going to go along here and sort of add in a little bit of the blue, just like this. Not everywhere, okay? Then I'm going to rinse out my brush and just sort of blend that so it has a softer edge. there. That's just clean, clear water. Okay. And then I'm going to do the outside. I'm just going to mix up some paint with more blue. And I'm just, I just want to apply a light blue all the way around. Okay, so that's the end of part 